In this video, I will be discussing the basic properties of a bond and calculating the value of the bonds in these two examples. Example 1. What is the value of a 5-year bond with $1,000 par value and 8% annual coupon rate if yield to maturity rate YTM is 9%? When you buy a bond, you're essentially lending money to the bond issuer in exchange for periodic interest payments and the return of a principal amount at the bond's maturity date. The borrower is the bond issuer, for example, governments or corporations, and the lender is the bond holder. Let's define some key terms in this example. Maturity date. This is the date the bond issuer is obligated to repay the bond's face value to the bond holder. Maturity is 5 years in this example. Per value or face value. This is the lump sum amount the bond issuer agrees to pay at the maturity for the bond. In this example, this $1,000 per value will be paid in 5 years. Coupons. These are the interest payments made to the bond holder. Coupon rate. This is the fixed interest rate paid by the bond issuer over the life of the bond. We multiply the par value by coupon rate to obtain the interest amount in dollars. In this example, the interest in dollar or coupon is calculated as 8% of $1,000, which gives $80. That is, the interest or coupon payment is $80 annually. If the coupons or interest were paid semi-annually, as you will see in the second example, then this $80 will be divided by 2. The yield or yield to maturity, also called promise yield, is the annual rate of return earned if the bond holder holds the bond till maturity. The bond yield is also described as the required market rate on a bond. In this example, that rate is 9%. This timeline shows the two different cash flows for the bond. One is the $80 annual payment, which is an annuity. The other is the $1,000 lump sum at maturity. The lender will receive $80 each of the 5 years and also receive the $1,000 face value in year 5. The bond value is the present value of the $80 coupons plus the present value of the $1,000 par or face value. We can calculate the bond value using the BA2 plus calculator as follows. Press second, PY, then press second, and clear work three times. This will set both PY and CY to 1. Alternatively, you can press second PY, 1, enter, then second quit. Since we have 5 years, we input 5N. Note that 8% here is the coupon rate that we use to calculate the interest amount here. Thus, our interest rate here is the 9% yield, and we enter 9 high Y. 80 PMT for the periodic payment, 1000 FV for the face value, and we compute PV, which gives 961.10. We say this 8% coupon bond is priced to yield 9% at 961.1. You can also calculate it in Excel using this input. Since this bond is priced below its face value, we say it is sold at a discount. If the computed present value were greater than 1000, then it is sold at a premium. Next, our second example has semi annual coupons, which is typically how bonds are issued in the US and Canada. This 12-year bond was issued 4 years ago. This means we have 8 years left to go. Since the bond makes semi-annual payments, that is twice a year, we have 2 times 8 equals 16 payments, that is N equals 16. The $1,000 face value will be paid at maturity, so it's a future value. The 10% coupon rate means the lender receives 10% of $1,000 or $100 every year. Since the payments are made semi-annually, they will receive two $50 payments every six months. So PMT or payment equals 50. The 9% yield quoted here is the nominal rate or APR. 
That is, it is compounded semi-annually, just like the payments that are made semi-annually. The semi-annual rate will thus be 9% divided by 2, which gives 4.5%. So IY is 4.5. Manually, we can compute the value of the bond using formula as seen here. But using the BA2 plus calculator, we ensure that PY and CY are set to their default 1. That is, second PY, second clear work three times. Note that if you set PY and CY to 2, then IY must be 9 and not 4.5. So 16N, 4.5 IY, 50 payment, 1000 future value, compute present value. And that gives 1056.17. Since this is more than the par value 1000, the bond is purchased at a premium. We can also use this Excel input to arrive at the same answer. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.